Something's out there. Something big. Oh my God. Thank God this guy uses his powers for good instead of evil because he doesn't leave the bad guys like Batman does. He leaves them in body parts. He leaves them in a bloodbath. This appeals to the eight-year-old boy inside of me. I was so giddy and ticklish with the opportunity just to audition for something like this. Who's being hurt? The man in the dark. I used to have capes when I was a kid. To be able to play a superhero for DC, you know, I never even put it on the bucket list because bucket list things are for things that I thought would be attainable. makes a deal to get a starring role in a movie if he agrees to stay in town to protect a woman that has yet been unnamed but will show up sometime in the future. So what the hell did this? That's what I intend to find out. He is the star of the movie, but what he doesn't realize is that he's made a deal that confines him to Moray, Louisiana. gets a premonition that she's going to be slaughtered. Abby Arcane was sent there by the CDC to determine what's going on in the swamp and why are people catching this virus. My name is Dr. Abby Arcane with the CDC. I heard you had a bad nightmare. She discovers what it is, and the bad guy who's responsible for it knows that she knows, so he sends this mercenary group to kill her, and Daniel Cassidy transforms into the Blue Devil, not just the character in the movie, but the actual demon to protect her. I get goosebumps just talking about this because I'm so excited. This project has just pulled me out of the doldrums of, of a crappy groundhog day that I'm living every day, that we're all living to a certain extent, and reminded me of the passion that I, I derive from being in this business. It was about three hours with two uh, makeup techs working on me at the same time, gluing the appliances to my face, helping me get in the suit, putting on these feet that don't resemble human feet at all. They're more like raised hoof kind of things. The, the claws, the talons, the, the 3D printed horns that would snap onto the skull piece with a smack. It's like I couldn't even pull these things off. This character is so intense that, you know, sitting at Fractured Effects, which is the top special effects company here in Los Angeles, and having them pour molds over me to, to make a body cast of me, to make this, this figure come to life, that it's just so jaw-dropping and so scary that when I got to play it, it just was transformative. Oh my God. There's a human being out there. His entire body was covered in plants. You know, as an actor, your goal is to act naturally in imaginary circumstances. But let me tell you something, when they put a suit on you where there's not one millimeter of your own identity showing, not even the whites of your eyes, you transform.